Hello everyone, it's Frugland here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys the next two steps to solving the Rubik's Cube. It's been quite a while since I uploaded a cubing video and people have been begging me to do it. But how about, before we do it, I have to teach you two algorithms, because you can't do these parts without them. The first one is um, the righty, that's what I call it. It's just, it's this. Um, just pause and get used to this. As also later in your cubing journey, this is going to be literally the most important algorithm of all time. The next one is basically the righty algorithm, but opposite. It's the lefty. And you, and it's this. It's the exact same algorithm. Just practice these algorithms a few times until you feel comfortable with it. So the next step is to do the first layer. Basically, you have to get these corners to be white, but it also has to match these two sides. See? So let's get the three cases that we can get. Let's start with this one, where the white piece is right there. First step is look at the two other pieces that are not white. It's blue and red, and that means the piece is going to go in between blue and red. So if the piece is right here, um, you have to do a righty algorithm. Like, So the next case is if the white piece is on the left side. Look at the two other colors and bring it in there. It's green and orange for me. It could be any color for you. If it's this, you got to do one lefty algorithm. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. Finally, if it's on the top, bring it over to where it's supposed to be. I think you understand by now. Um, blue, orange, blue, orange. To do this, you have to tilt it over here. And do three righty algorithms. So you can just keep doing that to finish the first layer. Let's say something like this happens and the last piece is stuck there. It might be tempting, tempting to uh, twist the corner. Just don't do that. If you twist the corner, it will ruin your Rubik's Cube and... It's very hard as a beginner to learn how to untwist the corners. So basically, if it's here, just do one righty algorithm to bring it out. And then you can do the specific case to get it back in. So the next step is the second layer. We did the first layer already. This is what it looks like. But now we have to do the second layer. <laughs> First step is to find a piece without yellow on it. This one right here, there's no yellow on it, you see? Also, it has to be an edge piece, by the way, because we have to solve these. So basically, if it's this, take the bottom color of the edge piece and move it over to the corresponding side. Now, as you can see, the top color, it's blue. And blue is right there. So we have to get it in between here. So to do that, you have to turn the edge piece the opposite way from the blue piece. Do one righty algorithm. Tilt it over here. And then do one lefty algorithm. So, let's say you have to move it to... So like we already, I already taught you how to do it on this side. How about I teach you how to do it on this side? It's basically the same thing, but reverse. Again, here, it's on the orange, right? Move the opposite from the green. Do one lefty algorithm, tilt it over here, and do one righty algorithm. It's the exact same concept. And it's basically the same. 
this is another case that can happen where um um it's stuck it's stuck in there basically to do it you can do one righty algorithm to bring it out and then one lefty algorithm to put the white piece back in um if it's on this area it's reverse i think you understand by now it's um let me just um it's like this but it's lefty righty other than that that's how you gotta do it so using that knowledge you can solve the rest of it it's not that hard I just realized that this video is going to be super duper short, so how about I also teach you step four, two. Um, this step is making the yellow cross. The first case is if the yellow cross is already done. If that is, skip this. Wait, no, don't skip this. Still watch it as... You won't always get the white cross completely done. The second case is if there's a line like this. Make sure that the line is going horizontally. Horizontally is like this way, vertically is this way. So basically after that, do turn this area like this, then do a righty algorithm, and then bring it back. Then you have the cross. The next one is if it's an L, like an L, like this. To do that, make sure that the L is like that, or else it will not work. After that, do the exact same thing, like that. Write the algorithm, bring it back. Then you'll get the line where you can do it again to get the cross. The final case is the worst case of all time. It's if it's a dot. To do that, you have to do this. Do this to make the L. Then do the same algorithm again to make the line. Then do the same algorithm again to finish the cross. It's so annoying when you get that dot case as a beginner, but when you, um, when you stop being a beginner, it's not really that tough. So, thank you everyone for watching. Um, I know I haven't really been making a lot of cubing videos, but if you made it this far, please like and subscribe and, uh, yeah, um, turn on notifications if you like my content. I do kind of spam post Minecraft now, so if you want to see more cubing, just look at my older videos. You'll see less um, of that stuff. Um, so, bye guys. I'll see you uh, soon.